Well, from the relish trays to the old fashions, there's just something about a supper club. Boy, that's for sure. Did you ever wonder where did the idea for a supper club come from? You can read all about it in author Ray Fayola's new book, his third book about supper clubs. We talked to him yesterday about his latest book, The Wisconsin Supper Club's Story, A History with Relish. <laughs> What is it about supper clubs that so fascinates you? Well, uh, just the, their individuality, and yet we kind of know what they are, you know. So uh, each one has its own character, uh, usually has to do with the owner or ownership, the family that runs it, and the family lives there, so you're in their home. Mm. Your latest book uh, talks about the history of supper clubs, and here in Wisconsin, we sort of feel like we own that history. But where did supper clubs first begin? Believe it or not, they began in London, England in the 1800s, in about around 1880 or so. Um, the theatrical people wanted a place to go after the last performance and the uh, pubs would close too early so they they established supper clubs which were membership only but they could stay open all night and you could <clears throat> have drinks do some dancing have some food and uh, literally until the cows came home so so how did that how did that concept jump the pond as they say <laughs> yes well it yeah eventually it made its way to new york city and there were a couple attempts that I talk about in the book was that uh, people who tried to start a supper club of their own based on the, the London supper clubs. And it, it, they didn't go over, well, they were very popular, but the local authorities kind of stamped them out. And eventually it, the concept really took hold, especially during prohibition. And then uh, after prohibition ended, they just continued to do what they were doing and the concept uh, spread across the United States and the heyday was like the 50s and 60s where pretty much every place had the word supper club on their shingle so but it really became a Wisconsin phenomenon almost a Wisconsin part of our heritage and tradition there aren't many supper clubs in other parts of the country are there not anymore no um, at one point like I say uh, all across the United States there were so many supper clubs uh, I think Wisconsin it stayed here because Wisconsin's known as such a recreational playground and um, the supper clubs just fit that kind of lifestyle and that kind of laid back uh, going to a remote supper club in the woods kind of thing you know when you're out fishing or hunting or whatever you're doing up in Wisconsin and so that it really uh, suited us well and it's that's why we've kept it all these years mm -hmm. and and it seems to be thriving here in the badger state yeah and and in fact they're really doing well there, there's been this huge uh return to the supper clubs especially after people were couldn't go out to restaurants at all and uh, now they're coming back in droves in fact ishnala there was the wait for a table was between three and four hours so people were tailgating <laughs> so they're Waiting not having the to reinvent themselves to lure a younger crowd. No, pe I think people are just, they do what they've always done. Uh, and younger people are saying, you know, we got to check this out. Or if, if they've been when they were younger, or even, you know, as kids, uh, they're going back as adults uh, with their friends. And that's great because, you know, we need more younger people to find out about supper clubs. Absolutely, and you can't miss the relish tray. <laughs> right. Well, thanks for being with us. Good luck with the book. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. Great to see you. Same to you. That sound, doesn't that sound good? Some it, onion rings. A little surf, old fashioned. Surf and turf. <laughs> if you'd like to meet Ron or get a copy of the book, he's holding a book signing next week, Wednesday, December 8th at 6.30 at the Beloit Public Library. And the book is available everywhere.